Well, the post-flood rapid ice age can also explain the extinctions at the end of the ice age. But first we must talk about their multiplication early in the ice age, right after the flood. The environment with uh, cool summers and mild winters and heavy precipitation would be ideal for large mammals to just really thrive and spread out all over the world. These animals were not used to cold and they weren't used to drought. They were used to a different environment than what the uniformitarian ice ages indicate, which are cold and generally dry, especially towards the end of their ice ages. So they would thrive. They'd spread uh, all over Siberia, down into the United States, Central America and South America. It was a dynamic ice sheet. It wasn't steady state for very long. It, these mild winters and cool summers were changing as time went on, as the oceans were cooling, you're getting less precipitation towards a late ice age. You're getting colder temperatures in winter time, but summers were warming up and the ice was starting to melt because of the warmer summers. So you, you melt the ice by the warmer summers. And if the winters are cold enough, you don't get that much precipitation. So you don't add much during the winter. So you just have a net melting. And the animals weren't used to colder winters, so they were stressed. 